Hello and welcome to another edition of Ramon's Everything RC. When I first put together the Trackstar wheel balancer, I had some trouble putting together some parts. So, rather than having to look up various resources, I decided to make it easier for you with this step-by-step -step process. Okay, so let's get started. So you have this tube. You put the two wheel, wheel bearings on the end. You get this long rod. You put it through. Doesn't matter which side, you can put it through. Then you put this on the end here. And you screw this in. Next, I would do the legs and the base. You put this flat part on the base here and you have to turn it over and put the screw in like that. So the two short legs are the ones that go on the sides and then the one long one goes on the back. Right. And just do it snug, don't tighten it just yet. Then this guy goes on. The countersink hole has to be facing the front of the wheel balancer. And you're going to put the screws in secured on the legs. And then you put the last screw through the countersink side. And then at this point you can tighten all the screws that you've put in. This is where the screwdrivers come in handy. When I first did this, this did not fit through the, this hole. Now it does because I already put it together. But initially, this hole was too small. And this is built really strong. So the only way to spread that apart is by push, putting in a screwdriver and prying it open. I actually used two screwdrivers, one on each side, to pry it open like that. Once it's pried open, you put this through. When you put it in, don't put it in too far because when, when you put the wheel on, it's going to hit the frame. You're going to want it far out towards the front you get your seven millimeter wrench and your 2.5 millimeter screwdriver doesn't matter which side you put the screw in This part is an adapter that you use with different size wheels. And there you have it. The Trackstar wheel balancer for 1 8 to 1 10 scale RC cars. <laughs>